Holy shit, it sounds badass. Okay, man. that was the other thing I was going to talk about. That live performance where Maynard just stands oh, still know, the entire time. It's in incredible. Pink, in it's okay, it's okay epic. let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Is it, <laughs> is it good or gimmick? Is, is his performance a good okay. performance or a gimmicky you have performance? To stand it's still a little, to sound like that? It's a little bit of both, dude. Okay, let's break Come it down. on, that's some break real talent right there, though. What ha- what it, we're still talking about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're yeah, still talking about this it. Day. I understand <laughs> the point of the song and like hair, like being addicted to yeah. heroin and he's wearing like pajamas. Or whatever the fuck people are, are saying. Move. But I've recently heard, and <laughs> someone confirm or deny this, that, that his actual vocal performance, the one you watch on YouTube, that isn't the original. They like overdubbed they it. They overdubbed it. Don't crush my soul, dude. That he actually did not put on a good performance that day. Really? Yeah. Wow. So I've heard. I don't Someone facts wow. on that. Maynard not doing a great live performance. So unlike him. I know, right? <laughs> Can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> Maynard <laughs> sucks now. Okay. I've never seen Tool, so who am I to judge? But okay, I feel I like when you go to see Tool, you should expect cool backdrops, awesome music, and who gives a f- one of the only bands where you're like, I literally don't give a shit what the front man's doing because he just annoys me. Yeah, with his <laughs> like the like the whole he did a tour. People were like, dude, he was behind the stage the whole time. I'm like, why didn't I get tickets to that one? I know that's so <laughs> dumb. Then why even be there? Like it's so stupid. That's dumb. I don't know. I'm not buying the gimmick for me personally. I, I just think you're a shitty frontman. I just I don't think get that's it my, either, yeah. I'm not trying to say that he doesn't have great vocals or like he's an original dude, but as a frontman to what I've seen of YouTube videos, it's it's he's a joke. Like compared to all compared the other, to all these other and great maybe ones. he's trying to be different and he's so edgy, he's Maynard. <laughs> I'm just not buying it, dude. That's I'm a tactic that works though somehow. I don't know how, but it works. It works for all these stoners out there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, you know when you're doing acid, when you're staying in one spot, he's actually real and moving. He's mm-hmm. actually right next to me, man. <laughs> But yeah, yeah and then I, I saw one where he did a song. He was like in military gear or like police gear, and he just had a megaphone. Oh, And he was yeah. just using a megaphone. Was that with the, the that band or a different band? Show. No, he did not. Was that? I thought that was with his like. He's no, like that wasn't band. with Pussifer or. Uh, Pussifer, I'm saying, yeah. It wasn't with Pussifer. Pussifer. It was with Tool. That was actually with Tool. I'll have to link it or some shit. I'll send it to you. They, they, uh, they show pictures of that all the time. And dude, yeah, they do show pictures of it all the time. Yeah. And if you go look up like people when they record. Him, like them playing, his voice sounds like butt nowadays. Yeah. I yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, they I would are go to who a they are. I would go to the concert to see but one thing or two things. Danny motherfucking Carey. Yeah, of course. Dude, he's always oh, on. I don't know. If that guy's a beast. that guy ain't yeah. right, dude. And Justin's amazing too. I don't know. Just, yeah, the, I don't Chancellor know the basis name. Yeah, Justin. Justin. I wouldn't want to do the tool. Show. My thing is okay. The problem is, Maybe not, yeah. It, yeah. it's our fault for not being old enough when they were playing like clubs and theaters. Yeah. Sure. These guys would be awesome. I would love to see Tool in a theater. I would absolutely love it. But yeah. the last time they came, they came to like fucking a stadium. This is not stadium music. Oh, me, AT&T dude. Center. Eight, it was, did, I think yeah, it was either they, AT&T or was the Friedman Coliseum. No, they either did way, the, a the fucking the. They're a band where you want to pay attention to the music. So the, the audio is going to suck. And you're the in dynamics stadium. in like yeah. a club. Exactly. So the dynamics Imagine in the stadium that. and, and with the butter. shitty audio, it's going to sound like shit. Then, honestly, you want to see the show. So if you're like, you know, these motherfuckers charge like 60, 70 bucks for a nosebleed ticket. You're not going to get the same experience. You're going to be up there with some douchebag eating popcorn who's like, oh, I love Parabola. <laughs> and you're just trying to get just doined. Parabola the whole time. <laughs> you think Parabola's coming up next? <laughs> <laughs> you think I get another beer? <laughs> what's this <laughs> what's this one <laughs> this one's really slow because then they always do parable they do parable into parabola album? i think right oh my what? god they always do parable into parabola could you imagine like what's the shit and then like <laughs> the oh, beginning like, parabola. <laughs> 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 